Hello, I'm Debs. This is Debs Made This, and today I have a pile of very neglected fabrics who wish to audition for the role of the LED dress. So if that's something that interests you, please stay tuned. Right, so um, I've been meaning to make another LED for quite a long time. If you've seen, I'll put a tag in there, but I have recently finished embroidering my toile which was made in a slightly scratchy cotton linen blend which I had fallen out of love with and since I've embroidered it I've really enjoyed it. I also made a couple of tweaks to the fit whilst I was messing about with it and have decided that this is the dress that I want to make. It's them shutting the door so they don't have to listen to me. Uh, this is the dress that I want to make for a family gathering in the next uh, month or so. Gosh it might be sooner than that, it might be two weeks. Better get shift on then, hey. Right, so the LED. So the LED pattern, I'm sure you all know, looks a bit like this. So it's a closet core pattern and it, it's a modern take on a standard wrap dress. There are a couple of sleeve lengths, so a long sleeve length and a shorter sleeve length and three lengths of skirt above the knee, midi and maxi. Um, depending on what fabric I use, I will kind of need to cut my cloth according to my means or you know what I mean I may have to have a, a shorter sleeve but actually I think I might look a bit drowned in the longer sleeve um but I'm gonna see I made the shorter sleeve last time and I kind of like them like the look um and I think it probably just depends on the on the vibe that you're going for so um this was released in August 2020 so never let it be said that I'm slow to uh a slow to adopt a pattern so a couple of years it's been floating around for um, and it's in their extended right size range so it goes from a 0 to a 32 um, which is a full bust of 31 inches up to a full bust of 60 inches and from a hip of 33 up to a hip of 63 so that's a good old size range I think to be going on with um, and the pile of fabrics I have um, date from 2018 I think is the oldest fabric but it might be fairly early on in 2018 and the youngest fabric in my stash is probably about when's that from I don't know maybe from March this year I think um, so nothing that's brand new, although some of these will probably still be floating around. So I'm just going to whiz through and kind of talk you through um, my process. Uh, I am oh, I am wearing a closet, also a closet core pattern, a closet core uh, cello, I think you say, from their Rome collection from a few years back. Um, in a Nanny Eero double gauze fabric. Um, which I really like, but I'm not sure that this shape does me a lot of favours. But, you know, never mind. I've just got it on with a pair of uh, ready-to-wear, thrifted, mended jeans. Um, and we've been kicking about not doing very much today. Uh, also in the background to mention is Maria's prom dress. Uh, and there will be another video being done. I'm keeping it in frame until I have done that video and then I promise I'll move it. Um, okay, let's go. So, so what I wanted to do when I'm picking a fabric for this is to try and find something that I'm going to kind of has enough swoosh, is drapey enough, because um, the, the linen one is really nice, but I think the linen vibe means it feels much more casual. I think if it's a bit more lightweight, I think it will feel something a bit more like, so which is where the first fabric came in. So this is um, slightly sheer and uh, do you know, I have no idea what kind of fab, what kind of flower they're supposed to be. Maybe they're supposed to be magnolias. Tell me in the in the comment box below if you know what kind of flowers they're supposed to be. This is on a slightly sheer, crepey floral background. Um, this came from somebody's D stash uh, a little while ago, and it is it is really lovely and really drapey, um, and definitely wants to be a shirt dress or a dress of some description. In my head. It needs a little collar and might be something like, she looks around for the patterns that she has sat, right, yeah, something like this. Or um, the chai shirt dress by Itch to Stitch, 
do you know so something kind of like that i think maybe is in my head for that so i'm not feeling although it is very beautiful i mean the thing is when do you do this thing when when the fabrics are auditioning like all of them could be it and i can see in my mind's eye what they would look like as a, and this would make a beautiful led it would and this is where the problem comes and so if you have an opinion about the ones as i'm going through please just let me know what you think which you think would look best now this one the next one which is an atelier brunette fabric which i've had for a couple of years um and i bought in two lots so i bought one lot to make a shirt and then i really liked it and decided i wanted to make an led out of it so it was purposefully bought for this for this pattern because i bought extra but another meter and a half or another meter or so to um to try and make sure i had enough to make a version now obviously there's nothing to stop me making a couple but we'll see i'm not sure i'm going to wear three so we'll see so this is um like an off-white and ivory background with a blue fleck on it called i think it's called shade um and it's kind of shadow sheer so that might need the bodice lining i'm not sure when it's a wrap i think if it's that good wrap like the LED, maybe that's why i thought that that actually perhaps it would less likely to need but i've got white cotton lawn if i need to line it with white cotton lawn but i think that would be really nice that would feel like a really summery make and that one kind of missed the boat last year or the year before because um I didn't get around to making it and it turned into autumn and I decided it wasn't an autumnal fabric at all. I mean, that being said, can you not just see um, like that Iska shirt dress from Marilla Walker that's floating about in my brain at the moment made in that as well. That would be really nice. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so that's Atelier Brunette. So the third one is a Lady McElroy. Now this has been bought to do, this actually has another pattern's name on it, but I think it would make a really nice LED. Um, I think it might feel a bit autumnal in these colours. Um, and this was bought to be a Pauline Alice Ibby dress, the version with the collar. Um, so I have four and a bit metres, maybe four and a half metres of this, I think, that came from Sherwood's when they were having a sale. Um, so although this would work, and I think definitely a cotton lawn would, would look, work really well for it, I'm not sure that this one is the right one. But if you disagree, please let me know. Right, the next one is also a cotton lawn. Now this is a fairly special cotton lawn. This one has been hanging about since 2018, at least 2018, I think the start of 2018, according to the um, the fabric Excel sheet. But um, that may have been when the sheet started, so that might have been when it got put on. So I have four and a bit meters of this. Now this is called Small Susanna, it is a Liberty Tarn Lawn. It is beautiful. Last year or the year before, I think this pattern must have gone out of their copyright or however that works, I don't know. But certainly it appeared on a poplin base and I made a dress out of a poplin base in another colourway. Um, and it made me really sad actually because I had saved this to be a Colette Penny. I'll put a picture in because I don't have a printed out copy of that. And that has like 60 something, 62 pattern pieces, PBS sheets, pattern pieces that I had stuck together. Um, I subsequently lost a lot of weight and I think I shredded, you know, I recycled the um, the pattern pieces because I decided I would need a different size and now I'm probably back to the size I was four years ago so I could have left it the same unless I'm intended to run another marathon um, but yeah so this is beautiful it is an absolutely gorgeous fabric and it could definitely be an LED but I wouldn't need as much of well actually it says the pattern require the, pa the fabric requirements for a long sleeve long length so maxi length with a long sleeve are five meters of 150 wide fabric which seems like an awful lot for a for a wrap which is not really very wrappy um the other possibility with this is obviously the strappy ibby dress which is the other thing that's floating about in my brain i think i just do that thing where um the most recent thing to come into my head if i haven't made it everything wants to be that um I think in my heart of hearts, this still has to be a Colette Penny. If I have a picture of my toile, which I wore, I think it only went last year. Um, it was in like a tropical print. It was a bit bold for like everyday wear, but I used to love wearing it on holiday. And the Colette Penny is um, 
a shirt dress with the version I made had no sleeves and then it has like almost like a cummerbund waist thing so it, when you're thinner you can kind of the cummerbund kind of cinches it in and I think I just merged the little the fastenings for that round to kind of give me more of a waist as I lost weight so it, it, it worked well across a lot of size ranges um, but I think when it's wanted to be a Colette Penny for so long, I'm not sure I can switch and make it something else. I think if I find a shirt dress pattern that really works for me, it could be a different shirt dress. Um, but I think it really needs to be a Colette Penny. But, I mean, I say that, if I'm going to do that, I need to just get an, my bottom in gear and get it made. Because otherwise, it's going to be September again and then I won't make it. Um, which might mean I might have to get the pattern printed out. I'm not sure I can place sticking all those pieces together again um because it takes a really long time when there's 70 pieces 60 something pieces doesn't it okay the next one is um oh this was a sad fabric so well it is it's a beautiful fabric so this is a dash wood viscose and it is beautiful it, it is absolutely gorgeous i have the eagle-eyed amongst you who have seen a recent fabric editions um, video that I made will know that I had bought this bought this fabric again but on a different base I bought it on a um, a cotton jersey base um, which reminded me that I had all of this now this was a fabric I bought one piece and then tried to do what I did with the shade I tried to buy another one and it probably won't come up in this video but one of the pieces that I bought was very navy and the next piece I bought was very teal and they are actually a completely different colour now they've all been washed but washed the same amount and obviously i bought a third piece because i was still trying to get the piece the same so i have two navy ones and a teal one so i have quite a lot of volume of this fabric um and this would make a beautiful led in this in this um this pattern i think this would be gorgeous um so so this is actually one of the front runners and i think i've got enough of the stuff that's actually navy to make it out of i think i've got about three meters that's navy and i think i've got a meter and a bit that's the teal color um i spoke to dashwood about it at the time um and the, a lady was originally quite helpful and then not helpful and basically just said they were printed on different batches and you had to be careful and buy everything together um which you can kind of get but it is a different color one of them's navy and the other one's teal so they're not the same at all but apparently when the base cloth changes that can affect it and i think you know if you like if you order things from spoon flower you can see that if you choose a different base sometimes the color pops more easily okay uh so one two three four five number six is um is this and the uh, it's so lovely I do need to get this made up because it is so pretty. So this is a cotton, a yarn dyed cotton gingham, which came from the rag shop, I think. One second, two seconds, two seconds. Yeah, from the rag shop um, in April, no, February last year. Um, so this has been about a bit. The, the sister fabric of this was made into, um, so I bought another fabric at the same time and I made my Hannah last no the year before last and that's been worn a ton so i'm not sure i think it's probably just that it kind of comes across a bit school girly and so you've just got to be a little bit careful about what you're making it but that being said i would really like to do something that plays with the gingham a little bit so i'm about to make the marilla walker anning dress and i did wonder just about doing the kind of bib section of that in the gingham like going diagonally but i don't know that was my other thought but uh, but as i said it was bought to kind of make a hannah out of and then i kind of went off the idea but i think it would make a really lovely summery led but would probably i'd probably do that in the short version my, my daughter would say it would look like a picnic blanket i think but um yeah i'm not i'm not feeling like this is a front runner um so the next one is a for this fabric disappeared so i bought this fabric from selva jumbolt and it is so lovely this is a cotton lawn um it has these gorgeous put you the right way around i think so um these gorgeous sunflowers and other florals on it in a kind of really kind of warm summer palette really nice um and i think this would be lovely it would be really nice um as an LED, I can see myself swanning around in that. This was bought though to be 
the Rosalie dress by Experimental Space. See, I can get there eventually. I'll put in a picture of the drawing here because I haven't, uh, I haven't uploaded one already. Um, and that's a really nice pattern with kind of an open back. Um, and it was brought to be that, but I'm not really feeling that it wants to be that at the moment. So we're going to see, and again, that wants to be a strappy Ibby dress in my head. And you'll be relieved, we've come to the final one. This is the final one. This one has, again, been in my sash since at least 2018, I think longer, but at least from 2018. It came from the lovely Katie at So So So, um, where I often get my fabrics from. She's local to me, so although she doesn't have a real, like an in life, but, um, you know what I mean, a, an in-person shop to go to and look around, I always try and support um, little sellers if they're local. I rarely buy from really big companies, but, um, this is really nice. So this is, again, a cotton lawn. This is a Lady McElroy. I've forgotten what it's called. No, no idea. Um, I'm sure this is still floating about because um, Sean from Kittenish Behaviour has made huge collections in it. I'm sure she has, and I can't remember the name. Anyway, I think it's beautiful. I think the colours are lovely, and I love the kind of watercolour effect on those monstera leaves there with the bird. Really, really pretty. Um, so this was originally bought to be the V9075, the original jumpsuit pattern, uh, which has, I'm sure you all know this, it's got high neck, it's got princess seams, and then you can either have a skirt or like a wide leg trouser. And I made one of those years and years ago and I wore a top to death. Uh, but it was when I was really running a lot. So um, I think it went, uh, it was gifted to a friend last year. Um, and she looks beautiful in it, so it's fine. Um, so it was brought to be that, but I kind of went off the idea. I think so. I think this is certainly a front runner. So this one and this dashwood are my two um, main options. I think for it, um, partly because they've both been about for a little while, and partly because I think they will both make beautiful versions of the same dress. So let me know what you think. Um, I am not promising to abide by anybody's decision other than my own. I think my heart is probably with the green floral. I have a pair of new pale blue um, wedge heels, which are probably going to need to be the shoe that I wear because of the newest one that I can um, walk about in. But I think I'll get away with them with that, I think. Um, but we'll see. And my plan is um, to get on with that. So my Anning dress is next and then this is the one after. So if you have strong feelings anyway about which of these fabrics I should be using, then leave them down below and let me know. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's something a bit different. Uh, I have a lot of fabric so I can, can do this till the cows come home. It's really good for you to kind of have a dig in your stash though and realise what you've got, isn't it? Uh, so I hope wherever you are, you are enjoying making and you are finding time to rest and replenish. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.